quick tutorial today, so let's get into it. We'll be reviewing how to install and access FreeNAS. To do this, we'll need our multi-boot drive, a USB drive to install upon, and a test system. I'll be using my Dell R410 over here. First, let's start by removing the Dell R410's lid. Once the lid's removed, let's install the USB. Install the USB into a proper USB slot. Next, we're going to plug in the multi-boot drive. Now we can put the lid back on. Once this is done, we are good to boot the device. Go ahead and let the system boot. Depending on the system you may be using, it may take some time for it to boot. Once it's come up to post, go ahead and press the required key to get into the BIOS boot manager or whatever allows you to select the boot device you'd like to use. Once that's selected, go ahead and wait for it to come up. On the Dell R410, I'll be pressing F11 to enter the BIOS boot manager. This will allow me to select the boot device I want to use to boot from. It may take some time for your system to pop up with your boot manager or allow you to select a boot device. Once it does, go on down to the boot device you want to select. For me, it will be the USB storage media. I'm going to select the device to boot from it. Next, it's going to take me to the grub loader. From here, I'm going to load the FreeNAS installer. FreeNAS will take some time to load up all the required files until it will actually come up with the GUI interface. I'm going to wait for it to pop up and then I'll be back. Once the FreeNAS installer is fully loaded, it'll pop up with the FreeNAS 11.x or whatever version you're using. We're going to go ahead and click Install Upgrade and click OK. On the next screen, it's going to ask you what storage device you would like to use. For me, I'm going to choose the internal USB that we installed earlier. The next few screens talk about it erasing all partitions and any data that are located on the disk that we're installing upon. Next, it will take you to the page where you will need to put in a password. Go ahead and put in the same password twice and click OK. After putting the password and clicking OK, it will take you to the next page asking how you want to install it. For this tutorial, I'll be installing it on BIOS. This install takes some time, so I'm going to speed it up for you guys.
Now that FreeNAS is done, we're going to go ahead and access it via its web GUI. I'll do a quick overview on this. I have several more videos going in more depth about this GUI and what it does, but this is just a real quick tutorial on how to actually get into the web GUI. To start off, you'll want to open up your favorite browser. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and enter in the IP address, and you should be able to get this from the console of your FreeNAS server. Type in the IP of the FreeNAS server and go ahead and click enter. This will bring you to the FreeNAS installer page. Go ahead and type in root as the username and the password you set earlier when we installed FreeNAS. Then go ahead and log in. It can take a second or two for the web page to fully appear, but once it does, you'll notice all the different options. The initial information tab when you first log in allows you to see your host name, your build, your platform, your memory, system time, uptime, and load average. That's it for this tutorial today, guys. I've got a bunch more FreeNAS tutorials and ESXi tutorials on the way. I've got other update videos and a lot of other things going on here, and I plan to keep you guys in the loop. And as always, I'll see you in the lab.